Yes, well, we are expecting those to ramp up overnight, so we'll have some lulls here and there, but things are really just getting going for our overnight wind gusts that we're expecting as our area of low pressures off to our south. The other main concern for tonight will be the amount of precipitation we're getting wrapping around this storm for tonight into tomorrow throughout the day, tomorrow night into early Saturday for the southern half of the state. I also want to point out we could maybe even get some more downslope winds here along the Wasatch Front this weekend depending on a couple of factors, but bulk of our snow southern half of the state over the next couple of days. These purples that you're seeing for the mountains across southern Utah, we're looking at potentially one to two feet of snow for our southern and central mountains with winter storm warnings in place. So uh, these are going to be through noon on Saturday, 12 to 24 inches for our central and southern mountains, 36 to 48 inches possible Boulder Mountain, 6 to 12 inches for Capitol Reef and Bryce Canyon. And those are areas where we see a lot of visitors and a lot of rental cars maybe not snow tires, so just make sure that you are being really careful here across the state over the next couple of days as this area of low pressure is really going to drive our conditions. Precipitation is really not going too much so far, but I'm expecting that to start ramping up after about 2, 3 a.m. tomorrow. Right now, our wind is gusting 52 miles per hour currently in Ogden, 31 miles per hour for Brigham City. Want to point out and emphasize we're expecting our strongest downslope winds to be at the mouth of Parley's Canyon further north with our main eyes that we're keeping our track of tonight. The main place that we're keeping track of tonight uh, will be for Weber and Davis counties. Southern Utah also some gap wind St. George 35 miles per hour right now, but let's go ahead and break down those Wasatch Front headlines. Gustiest near the canyons, especially along the Wasatch Front eastern portions of the valleys tonight. Partly cloudy and breezy as you wake up tomorrow morning, eventually becoming sunny tomorrow with that potential for still some gusty downslope conditions Friday night and Saturday night. For now, let's go ahead and check in with Utah's Weather Authority. Meteorologist Chris Nunley live out in the elements. Chris. Hey, Allison, we're still seeing some of the strong winds here. I'm on the west side of Interstate 15 in Davis County in Clearfield. And a little bit earlier this afternoon, I was also in Davis County, but I was on the east bench show on the east side where it's a little bit windier and bountiful. And I caught up with a dog walker, a dog owner just like myself, uh, who was battling the elements to take his dog out on a walk. Have a listen at what he said. From my house, it didn't seem as bad as it is, but the moment I got outside, I almost fell over. So that's what I dealt with this morning as well as I was taking my dogs outside. And if you're gonna take your dogs outside tomorrow morning or as you're taking the kiddos to the bus stop or to school, this is a look at the winds that you can expect tomorrow morning. These are some of the wind gusts that we are forecasting. Notice that the East Valley floors are gonna see some of those strongest wind gusts, especially from Southern parts of Box Elder County down into Weber, Davis, Northern Salt Lake counties are going to see some of those strong wind gusts tomorrow morning. Those will be the areas favored to see possibly wind still gusting between 30 to 50 miles per hour. And then if you live near the mouth of some of the canyons, there's that possibility early tomorrow morning between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. that you still see some of those wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. Again, that's going to be more isolated in nature and near the mouth of those canyons. But again, we're here in Davis County in Clearfield. The winds not as strong is what they were earlier, but I think the winds are a little bit stronger on the east side of Interstate 15. Allison, I'm going to toss things back to you. All right, we're expecting our strongest wind gusts east of I-15 tonight, especially Legacy Parkway, um, east benches through Weber and Davis counties, and that's where things are going to be the strongest. And then look at southern Utah into the overnight hours. Tomorrow, 7 a.m., we're going to start seeing some winter driving conditions across southern Utah. And throughout the day tomorrow, take a look at this. We could see some areas of very heavy rainfall near Lake Powell, west of I-15 as well. But we're really likely going to see our areas of our most snowfall near Boulder Mountain. For St. George, you're going to see widespread showers for Friday, Friday night, Saturday, a little bit of a break with some more isolated to widely scattered showers possible early next week. Temperatures in St. George 58 tomorrow, 55 on Saturday, and then back into the 70s Monday and middle of next week. For the Wasatch Front, we're going to keep our temperatures pretty comfortable for the next several days. 56 tomorrow, downslope winds, potentially some more downslope winds 
Friday night and Saturday night, but we're expecting tonight's wind gusts to be the toughest and then mid 60s next week. And then by the end of next week, we could see some more showers returning.